Psst, hey. Psst, hey. Hey guys, and welcome to another Rhyme React. That's right, folks. It's time for another episode of Owl House. The last episode was an absolute amazing episode that had so much in it. The mystery of Ida being a giant owl monster was absolutely amazing, and I really look forward to seeing where the rest of the show goes, and that's why we're here in episode 5. What's that? Why am I a baby? It's a little rude. I just go calling people a baby. What do you want me to go? I'm a baby. Let me suck on your titty. Not, not, eat his titty. Eat his titty. The only character in this series, Ida. Actually, maybe the guy from the beginning. He might have some succulent tats. So listen, this is a bad dating technique, all right? Fuck you, Ida. Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> what was... What are you... You fucking looking at the koala? You think the koala's my face, but you don't think I'm the face? I'm the face! Fuck it. Wait, when I flipped that koala, he landed like that? Hey, everybody. The fucking barefoot? Do some shit for me, nigga! I died. He killed me. Which means... No! I made it to the top two! No! Of course, folks, like to get the original link. More from original content creator. You can find it on Disney Plus, and you can purchase it on Amazon. I challenge you to a witch's duel. And look, I drew a flip book. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <me> the picture. <laughs> I can draw better than that. You know, they once called me the king of artists. Wait, I thought you were the king of demons. Are you just making this up now? Doesn't matter. What's important is that my followers would leave me offerings and- Shit, king, I never thought of that technique that was a masterful technique uh mr clinton uh did you have sex with that woman doesn't matter i can play a saxophone <laughs> that's me playing the saxophone i don't know how to play a saxophone i'm not bill clinton i didn't have sex with a random woman under my desk okay shit i never joined a coven for a reason sure it's like a fun club for witches but you're also giving up your magical independence to be part of a crooked system <laughs> <laughs> oh boy guys what coven did you get in? Ah, oh, I got in a Hufflepuff. Oh, that's sweet. What'd you get into? I got into Gandalf School of Nodding. Wow, that's cool. What about you, Ryan? Blair Witch. Is this an A or an F? I hate that bitch. I hate that bitch. I don't know how I'm going to animate this, but I'm really angry. Ugh, suck it, nerd. <laughs> He could only screech. Screech it, did she? For the screeching did worsen it. Stop it, stop it. I will literally do anything to stop this. Hey, uh, Ida, I know you're having a mental breakdown right now. But, um, come, come, come here, come here, come here, come here, Ida. Come here, I just want to show you. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, that's a 3. That's also a 3. I'm sorry to say, but you've been hit with a lizard pyramid scheme. <laughs> this is a dinosaur with a fucking giant suitcase. A dinosaur clock. Oh, that's the coolest thing in the world. You don't even realize that they're they're changing time. Stupid lizard people. Stop trying to rule the world. Changing our clock system. We really worked hard on that. You're trying to confuse us so you could take over as our overlords. Man, Alex Jones is right. You guys suck. Keep a low profile. <laughs> is this cow really necessary? <laughs> Do you think all my wanted posters are for petty theft? <laughs> <laughs> Partly. The big whammy is I disobeyed the law and refused to join you the You put it in your Honestly, hair? There was jail. a knife in there. Again. Maybe this informative event will inspire you to join a coven. <laughs> Those are the main nine covens, but there are hundreds of others. <gasps> Whoa! Well, what is this? Move out of the way, eyeball guy who returned. Stop eating your eyeballs! <sighs> Cinnabon. Because it's a sin to eat your own eyes. Hi.
My name's Hobo Ryan, and I would like to join your coven. I hope you don't mind, because... I'm the king of cat magic. It's a cat having cheese thrown at it. Hold on, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Wait, was that dog? Shit. Shit! Ah, they'll never accept me! Ma'am, but you look rather familiar. And you look uh, fucking hideous. No, I don't. Distraction spell. <laughs> You're doing him a favor. The construction of it. <laughs> that's, not, that's not magic. You just... One of the main nine. They use power gloves to increase their strength. Oh. <laughs> you know, why haven't you ever joined one? Watch closely, Luz. When you join a coven, all your other magic is sealed away. Oh. Oh no, now he can only do Scooby Snack spells. Students ask me all the time, Principal Bump, what's the height of magical achievement? Is it this? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I failed you as a principal. <laughs> you don't see that very often. That's what I call a top tier joke. Those are the kind of jokes that I felt watching Gravity Falls where I'm like, oh God, that was a joke that was funny. Not once, but freaking twice. And it just hit it out of the ballpark. Clack. When does that elite force get here? <laughs> Also, I like how water, electricity, and fire is the alchemist combination to make confetti. <laughs> oh, of course, guys. All you have to do is get a bowl, put a little water, light that water on fire, of course, put it outside, have a lightning bolt, hit it, and ta-da, you get confetti. That's how we do it here in the confetti business world. Come and have access to all, yes, all forms of magic. Ooh, ah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> You know, I just paused, but I have to say this. What the hell is this? This is Gender Ben Humpty Bumpty. <laughs> I messed it up, and that's what her name is now. Humpty Bumpty. And Humpty Bumpty, obviously, cut the arms and legs off of a human toddler and slapped it onto herself to make sure that she wasn't going to fall off the wall this time. Again, crack on their head. Also, her magic is smelling crime. But also, can't forget to mention that Bear Trap is back. And of course, Monkey is back in the background as well. Also, this guy looks like he should be in hell of a boss, except he's caressing somebody's buns. Because he's a baker. This one looks like a SpongeBob character. He's too happy and I don't like it. And he probably has an assortment of used panties. The hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Baby-faced owl? Well, Ida, looks like you don't have the full gimmick on owls. Baby-faced does. Actually, hilariously enough, this owl actually was in the first episode, and I completely and utterly forgot. After this, I cut out an entire scene where I talked about how I thought that the guards here were exactly the same as the guards in the first episode, but that wasn't the case at all. But while doing this research, I watched the beginning of the first episode, and not only does this freak of an owl show up, he's like, it consumes the screen. There's only one way I forgot about this owl, and it's because of repressed memories. I put that one in the vault, and I wish I didn't bring it back up. That's an upside down face, isn't it? <laughs> Congratulations, Owl House. You did my favorite thing in the whole world. Giving me the ability to pause it and get just oodles and oodles of entertainment out of it. You know her. You love her. Lilith. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, man. It's her sister. 
It wasn't easy for me to rise to the top. I also started from humble beginnings. Like me? <laughs> now I have Not like you. My head is only a slightly smaller than yours. I'm gonna head home and wash the confunk off my skin. <laughs> but we haven't even taken the quiz to determine our coven type. <laughs> Ooh, I'm receiving magic lessons from a powerful witch and a ferocious demon. Is that your ferocious demon there? Cupcakes in my tummy tum make the cake <laughs> yummy yum. So will you join the baker's coven? <laughs> <laughs> You know why I hate her? Because she's a Vegeta. I know she's a Vegeta. There's no doubt in my mind that that girl's a Vegeta. I feel like I'm being robbed of my anger. Because if there's anything I've learned from every series I've ever done, every character that annoys me and makes me go, God, I hate them. It's going to have a redemption arc. And then I have to go, oh boy, I like them now. But I secretly don't. But if I don't say that I like them now, you all get mad at me. So, Ryan, why don't we get this out now before she turns into a good guy? I fucking hate your little Doritos earrings. What are you, stupid? Those are for eating. I like how you set your hair up to make sure that if any bird wanted to eat you, it could just grab you like a handle, like you're a freaking takeout dinner for somebody to grab. Here's your meal. I hate how you have a more inflated ego than the boy with the giant head. He just has dreams and hopes that makes his head giant. You should take a lesson from him and replace your ego with hopes and dreams, you whore. I'm going to replace that because it doesn't fit. It's just an anger whore. I don't actually think she's a... Hey, bitch. Okay. Well, she could be a good guy now, I guess. Oops. That was an accident. Okay. Well, she could be a good guy now, I guess. So let me ask you, it takes a lot to be a brown noser, but how much does it really take to become a brown banger? Not like... <laughs> oh God! Sorry, I've just realized how diabolically bad that was. Ah! If I win, you apologize to King for squashing his cupcake. Good night, sweet child. <laughs> and two, let's shake on it. The everlasting oath is sealed. Thank God they weren't pinky swearing. That's probably fine. <laughs> and the King, I could win this, right? <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> Sister? <laughs> Holy shit, I guessed it! <laughs> I can't believe how easy that was to guess! I literally just went, well, they got the same shade of skin, so they're probably related. That was literally, that's how my brain put that together. Oh, gosh. That is amazing. I can't believe how quick I got that one. You know, when we were kids, Lilith was so excited to see the Emperor's Coven, she peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> that one kid's like, I think I can see this thing. Don't, please stop. Don't, don't talk about that. You made it weird. You think being covenless makes you so much smarter than everyone else. But while you run from the law like a degenerate, I'm mentoring the next generation of powerful witch students into the world. So I'm just going to be honest with you. I know I'm doing an audition for this uh, magical school, but uh, I uh, fucking lost my top hat for this bit, and it has completely drained me of the will to live. But I'm not a man to give up. I'm not a man to give up. Ida, I may have signed up with this side for reasons. You didn't accept my love letter. And 
I have an absolute passion for fashion and magic. The magical man named Mr. Bean once said, magic. <laughs> Something like that. I don't, I don't remember. All right. Ta-da! It's a cat. What do you, what do you think Ida has to say about this? I think she should go fuck herself. Mr. Kitty, you shouldn't say that, but it's true. You're missing out on this side of the magic, Ida. Also, she said she would pay off my debt for the hobo sex aporium. Yeah, it turns out once you murder someone, you still have to pay money afterwards. <laughs> Life sucks. I'm doing that magic trick. I, I, I swear it's, it's, ne it's never happened before. Uh. Okay, Edelin. For one day, you won't have to hide from the law. Does that really make the law stop? You would think a good guard would know to look for the woman whose poster is literally everywhere. <laughs> I hated it. Let's start your I don't like how yeah. jiggly it was. I'm coming at you with a blast of fire. What do you do? <laughs> right. I shrunk. And I'm tired. <laughs> Is Nose Guy going to become like the most powerful character? He's just like, he's going to take those freaking patches and go all over the place. Go, ah! Isn't there a character? Oh, it's. It's Bane! That little nose man is Bane! <laughs> I think they did that in uh, the animated series because they couldn't do steroids. <laughs> Get Amity to land on one of those and she'll set off my magic traps. <laughs> Nobody will know. No, there's no rules there. against landmines. Works in war, Trust work me. here. But I will know in my heart. Even if I win now, I lose. You have learned nothing That's from me, have you? <laughs> I saw you that time. You didn't use your hands. What are you getting at? Not dying. <laughs> How are you doing that? <gasps> no, Amity, don't step any closer. No, you should totally step oh, on it. No, actually, I think. What happens if I step closer? Do it. Uh oh. Hmm? I'm okay. <laughs> yeah! It wasn't my idea to cheat. And when I found out, I tried to stop it, but. Who could believe anything you say? Oh! Wait just a sec, Ms. Protégé. You cheating little bitch! Hey, Give you me your Brock badge. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Because my rhymes are depleted. Oh, that's it! Oh, shit. Whoa! <gasps> there she is. Oh, we gonna get a cool freaking. Oh. <laughs> Amity. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I don't but care at all. Seriously, just leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't mean to embarrass you. That's all you ever do. First at school and now this. In her defense, you were a, uh, what is commonly known as a trash bag human. And thus, I feel nothing. But I'm supposed to feel something because, hey, kids, it's not about bullying people. It's about becoming the better man. Well, I haven't learned anything. Your whole family is a sham. Deal with it. What? Man, revenge is underrated. That felt awesome. I'm not a witch. But I'm training hard to be one. I almost died to learn that spell. Woo! <gasps> Hootie coming! God dang, Hootie. You almost killed some children. Oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, that's so cool. 
Oh, hot dang, that's cool. I did not expect such a freaking cool battle on episode five. Woo! <laughs> what beats her the most? A simple owl. No, no, no! There is three minutes left. I can't believe it. I can't. I... It shouldn't be five episodes in a row. No, 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 no. Gosh darn it, it lives. The curse lives on. I'm never escaping this. Lily, wait. The curse. Look at me. Look at my face. The curse is worsening and I can't keep up with it. I don't know how much time I have left. I'll admit I was surprised when I first saw you today. I just had to see my sister for possibly the last time. That's you not know, why you I... wanted to go. <laughs> it's been fun, but let's call it a <laughs> Now that's the role model I need. And it's the best thing because it's free, comes from my heart, and I always have more than I need. <gasps> Is it love? Uh, no. <laughs> no thanks. Yes! And they have That's life's love. Do you think I'll ever be a true witch? What? I don't know. I, who's a true witch? These suckers? Well, according to them, that means being in a coven, but I never joined one and I'm better than all of them combined. Also, they're male. Which means they would be wizards, right? Right? That's the one thing that kind of confuses about me. Like, these covens are about witches, and they only use the word witch. But witch means female magic user. Wizard is a... Unless unless uh, witch in this world is all-encompassing, which it could be. Which, no! No! They had a wizard episode! So they're... A wizard's different than witches? I'm very confused. I mean, they're prob maybe they'll explain it? But, like, if a male learns magic in these covens, are they also witches? Or are they wizards? Or is wizard a different type of magic? I don't know. Also, I, who, who cares? <laughs> it's a cartoon. Now, let's go before my sister realizes I tied her pointy shoes together. <laughs> you make it so hard to want to help you, Edelin. I disagree. I see you let the owl lady get the best of your temper. Just remember what Emperor <laughs> My hair is a ham. It's like a toupee, you but you have my words. scratches. Very good. Whoa. <gasps> Whoever this emperor is may be the main villain. This is truly fascinating. So we're getting more information from what uh what we got in the first episode with like the executioner it seems whoever is in power is the ultimate evil and they're coming after Ida, which gets me excited i love it when shows add those little extra bits at the end where they make you go oh i need to know more i have to say this episode was very enjoyable this episode was a nice compact sandwich of content I'm dim, 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 dim. <laughs> there was at least like three or four jokes in that that made me laugh hard enough to make my throat hurt. My throat hurts. This is how I know when a, a episode is very funny when afterwards I feel like I'm getting hoarse. And may I say, out of all the episodes, best fight scene. That Ida versus her sister, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! They really put their animation hats on for this one because they were uh, firing on all cylinders with this one and absolutely adored that fight scene. Fantastic, great stuff. But yeah, this was just all around a fun episode. I had a blast through and through. The only thing is, I don't know how I feel about the, like, snooty girl. Which, by the way, I don't remember her name. <laughs> I do this literally with every show I've ever existed because my memory is very, very bad. The kind of bad that I'm I'm getting Alzheimer's in my 50s. There's always use that character that you just like, oh, they're going to get the redemption arc and stuff like that. To the point, like, I think I'm bored of it. I've seen this character in 
almost every series I've ever gone through. And it's not really the show's fault because it's I'm comparing it to other shows, but it's just like I I feel like I'm not invested because I read her character like a book. Ah, I'm a really bitchy character that's going to turn out to have a heart of gold. Except I don't care. I've heard this story so many times. And sometimes I just want to see the assholes get their comeuppance. Remember what, one of the best scenes was Dipper when Mabel was just like, you know, I'm going to be the bigger man. And then Dipper decided to go, screw that. And then he put the paper, like he told her everything that about her past. And she goes, no, and Pacifica screams off. How satisfying and well done that was. I love that. Sure, you're taking the moral of the higher ground and knock it out of the park. But sometimes who cares? It's a story that's been told over and over again that the people who are mean to you, uh, you could be friends with. But let's face facts. How many people have had bullies in the past that treated you like shit and then afterwards you were best friends? No, you usually harbor those feelings to the grave and say, I hate that person and I wish nothing good for them. Like, everybody has somebody in their past that was an asshole. What do you guys think? Uh, no, I gotta really ask you guys a question on this one, because I, I ranted about it, but... What do you got? Are you guys also sick of this trope? Do you, What's your opinion on it? Are you guys bored of it now? Like, sometimes I just want to have a, an annoying character that I just want to hate. You know what it is? It's like, it's always the rich or the smart kid that has the redemption arc. They're never like the eternal asshole that you go, I hate that person. So it feels like I never truly ever get to say, I hate that character and I hope they get their comeuppance. It's always freaking, nope, you're gonna have to have a heart of gold, mister, because they're a good guy now. So I feel like I've been gypped of my satisfaction of getting their comeuppance. I guess Pacifica's like the only one that kind of got her comeuppance, but like every other character I've seen that has this kind of arc, don't. They're always just jerks, and everyone's just like, that's who they are. No, stop being a piece of shit. So we gotta play that game that happens every single time I have this problem, because there's always a character. How many people will be mad that I don't like their character that they like the most? Because it's the exact same character that I've dealt with, like, for every series I've ever done. Anyways, I love this episode. Let me just put it that way. I freaking love this episode. I had a fun. I had a blast. I really did enjoy it. And it, all my silly gripes aside that I don't know if really, in the end, is Owl House's fault at all. Um, I kind of, because it's a trope that's existed for so many shows so when a new show like this does the trope it does kind of make me go ah, okay you can come up with something new you know what i respect the show enough to at least see how it plays out and see how how it goes so i'll give the character a chance but anyways folks thanks for watching if you enjoyed remember to subscribe leave a like down below and write a comment about the episode uh, like I said, mostly want to know about the trope. And of course, I'd love to hear your opinions on the episode. I found the Coven idea. I think this Coven uh, episode was much more interesting than the school. Seeing all the different, like, hey, all the different magics, which was really cool. You got to see a lot of cool stuff just, like, all through the background. And uh, learning more about it little by little. Uh, and it's cool to see that the magics are all different kinds and all the different, uh, like, uh, uh, professions in this, in this universe. It's really cool. And that ending! Woo! Made you excited to find out more. Why does the king hate Ida so much? We're gonna find out. Probably gonna have to do something with why she's cursed. Also, a salute to Big Head Boy. Keep doing your dream, buddy. Your principal may have failed you, but I won't because I love you in my heart. And you know what? You're a star. I messed it up. I'm not as good as a slime, okay? I could have done the what's it called, but I didn't. I did it in a dumb way. But anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone!